Henry Cavill's departure from the popular Netflix series The Witcher has caused a stir among fans of the show. Cavill, who played the lead role of Geralt of Rivia, announced in September 2021 that he would not be returning for the fourth season of the show. The news came as a surprise to many, as The Witcher had been at least somewhat of a success despite some negative reviews. Both the first and second seasons received positive viewership with Cavill's portrayal of Geralt widely praised by many fans saying his performance is one of the highlights of the series. Despite the news of Cavill's departure, Netflix has stated that it will be continuing the show with a new lead actor Liam Hemsworth. With Cavill's departure from the show, there have been various rumors as to why he decided to leave. The biggest rumor that was making the rounds at the time was that Cavill decided to leave the show due to his returning to his role as Superman. We do now know that to be not the case as it was revealed by Henry himself that he would in fact not be continuing his journey as the Man of Steel. Another rumor suggested that Henry was not happy at all with the direction of the show believing that the showrunners had no respect for the source material and as such decided to leave the show. We also received a suggestion that Cavill was hard to work with and his behavior on set was quite toxic. The report claimed that Cavill became impossible to work with. He would try to overrule the showrunner and female writers and directors were suddenly completely ignored on set, unable to do their jobs. The claim went on to suggest every department head was complaining. He started making comments. It wasn't a sexual thing. He wasn't grabbing anyone or being lewd, but it was disrespectful and toxic all the same. The source added that Cavill was also deeply addicted to video games, adding that he was so obsessive that it was like working with any other addict and that he used video game language to talk to coworkers. Eventually, things escalated, and he did anything he could to hold up production. For the report, this also turned out to be false as the original poster later went on to apologize for her words stating that none of it was in fact true. The showrunner also pushed back against the rumors saying that none of it was true and that the split was mutual. The reality is that we will most likely never know why Henry Cavill decided to leave the show but the change is that it is probably a combination of many factors. General unhappiness with the direction of the show combined with the thought that he might return as Superman and an otherwise busy schedule could have all led to Cavill deciding to leave the show. With that said, Henry Cavill is now gone and the next season is his final. It is still unclear exactly how they will be writing him out and replacing him but the showrunner did say that the next season will be a perfect send-off for Cavill. Showrunner Lauren Hisrich said in a statement, Henry has given so much to the show and so we want to honor that appropriately. The third season wasn't written specifically as a farewell to Cavill, but Hisrich said the material this season is based on Time of Contempt by author Andizaj Sapkowski's second full novel, and the fourth Witcher book is kind of a natural fit for the task. What is so interesting is that season three, to me, is the closest thing that we've done as a one-to-one adaptation of the books, Hisrich said. Obviously, we can't do every page, but Time of Contempt gave us so many big action events, plot points, defining character moments, huge reveals of a big bat. There's so much to do that we were able to stick really, really closely with the books. Geralt's big turn is about giving up neutrality and doing anything that he has to do to get to Ciri. And to me, it's the most heroic send-off that we could have even though it wasn't written to be that. Gerald has a new mission in mind when we come back to him in Season 4. He's a slightly different Gerald than we expected. Now, by the way, that's an understatement. With all of this, it is going to be interesting to see exactly what the reception to the show is going to be going forward. For many Henry Cavill was the main driving force to watching the show, and now that he is gone, the motivation to continue to watch might be gone as well. Since the third season is going to be his last, this whole thing can play out in one of two ways. People might tune in even more now since this will be his send-off. People will be naturally curious to see how he has written off the show, and as a result, it could increase viewership. With that said though, many might also be turned off now that Cavill is out in the choice to not watch anymore at all. Some might feel like there is no point in even bothering with the next season as the only reason they watched was for Cavill, and now he is gone. With the fourth season not even underway yet, the performance of the next season might have a heavy impact on if there even will be another. Right now Netflix does seem to be all in on The Witcher as another spin-off just released but the reception for far has not been great for either. The main Witcher story has been heavily criticized after the first season and the new spin-off that just released was not exactly welcomed with open arms. Video games to TV adaptations have always been hard to do and unfortunately, there are not too many good examples to point to. The showrunners from the very start were up against it but for the main Witcher show, there definitely is still plenty of hope left. The show might not have been what many expected it to be but for the most part, it does still have its fan base that is excited to see what happens next. 
Respecting the source material is going to be key for the show going forward and although you have those who are never going to accept the show no matter what, there is also a large fan base that is still willing to come back and see if the show can improve in certain aspects. With that said though, many were hoping that with Cavill's Superman journey now done, maybe he would return once more as the Witcher but sadly that does not seem likely to happen. As per PC Gamer, Cavill announced in early November that he was leaving The Witcher after the third season to be replaced by Liam Hemsworth, brother to Thor actor Chris. With all due respect to Liam, the news made pretty much everyone sad, including us. Cavill's departure was widely assumed to be connected to his understandable pursuit of the Superman role in movies, which he announced he was returning to in October. But then he got hosed. After a cameo appearance at the end of Black Adam, new DC movie boss James Gunn decided he wanted to start afresh, and Henry, and virtually everyone else involved with the previous films, was out. Some fans naturally hoped that losing the Superman gig would open the door to Cavill's return as Gerald, but Hissrich said that hasn't even been considered at this point. We have plans to keep this going in various permutations, she said. I love the mothership. I'm going to stick to it. But obviously we have Blood Origin coming out. I hope that this doesn't end for a while, so I think the possibilities are endless and we'll see what happens. It was obvious from the start that Henry Cavill would not just walk back into his previous role but some did still hold out hope. With Cavill now announcing his new Warhammer project, it is likely that this new project will take up most of his time so for now fans will have to make peace with the reality that his Witcher journey is done.